Man, so I love the new Evil Dead trailer. Like, it released a while ago, but I'm deciding to do a video on it. Like, that's how much I can't wait to see this movie. Like, man, it reminds me of a lot of other movies. And from what I can tell, it comes out in April 21st. So it's like my most anticipated movie of 2023. It's almost around the corner, like just a season away. I, I can't believe that it's almost February already. Like, <laughs> I'm actually glad that that's the case. But yeah, a lot of the scenes in the movie remind me of the recent Evil Dead. I think that came out in 2014. That was a good remake or reboot. It is still in continuity with the older movies from what I can understand. And that's fine by me. I like got all the franchises that came out like say Pet Cemetery or uh, well I haven't seen the recent Poltergeist but The Evil Dead and It and the sequel the second chapter I like the second chapter a lot of people say they didn't but yeah out of Evil Dead and It those were the two reboots to a franchise that I actually love they came out good the second one not so much for it but i still personally liked it so i really can't wait for this evil dead i'm not sure if this one's in continuity with all the other ones but either way you can watch the last movie and it doesn't really show anything in continuity but it's still a great movie it's a great movie period so, and i'm hoping that this one's the same from what i understand and can tell from the trailer it take place in a building i think i read that online too like it takes place in the city so i'm curious on what limitations the characters have like can they just run outside and tell someone or are they going to be trapped in the building somehow so that's going to be real interesting to see and it looked like some of the shots do take place in the cabin i'm guessing that's the first couple minutes before you see the title card for the movie explaining how the book went to the city and i tried to stay away from like reading the full synopsis online i know it's out there and i heard like a video about it when the trailer first came out but i'm gonna just try to keep my mind almost blank like i'm just gonna look at the red band trailer and stay away from like any further info on the movie one channel i watched it three c films and sometimes he can have spoilers in his reviews well not reviews but in his breakdowns of upcoming movies but i trust them <laughs> sometimes he does but he'll make it clear when he gets to that point so i'm gonna look out for that but yeah i think this is my most anticipated horror movie the one i had before was megan which was great but it wasn't really a horror movie it was more like just a great movie it was more of a sci-fi film rather than a sh straight up horror film like i don't even think no people do die in that movie but it's not put on as a horror film if you if you see megan then you know exactly what i'm talking about it's still a great movie but the evil dead rise i think is going to be that actual scare the crap out of me movie because that movie have great gore like i can already tell based off 2013 that movie had excellent gore like i'm not really a gore head but the evil dead did it in a way that it looked amazing and i feel like you can get away with doing crazy stuff if you actually make it you know good you can do whatever you want that's off the top as long as you do it good and not just do it just because you want to do it personally like i'm probably never gonna watch terrifier because it sounds like it's just gore just for gore's sake and it could be a good movie from what i understand it is but it's just not my thing i might give it a shot sometime in the future but i'm not really jumping to go see it you know what i mean but yeah that red band trailer that came out like a month ago i finally saw the whole thing like i saw the the other trailer i guess the regular trailer that looked amazing i decided to sit down watch the full two minute red band trailer and it just got me hyped again so i felt like talking about it another thing that i like there's some shots that remind me of other movies like there's a shot up with the blood coming out of the elevator which is a homage to the shining if you've seen that movie that's a trippy movie and that's what i think is going to go down with like they can't really escape the building because something tells me that the layout of the building is going to change on them in a way that they can't escape from it almost like that scene in scary stories to tell in the dark where you have that blob lady looking creature chasing this guy through like this building it's a hospital but all the doors and windows disappear on him so he's like trapped and i think that's what's gonna happen in the evil dead i kind of hope so but whatever they do i just want to see it i can't wait there's also a lot of scenes that remind me of the movie 
uh, Demons 2, I believe it was Demon 2. I never seen Demons 2, but I think I might just watch the Demon series just before I watch the Evil Dead because there's a lot of concepts with that movie and the Evil Dead series that match up, you know, like getting possessed by a demon causing you to become this zombie creature and the isolation and being trapped. That's what I'm really looking forward to because it looked like the Evil Dead is doing like a match of different movie series and putting it into this one while still being true to what the Evil Dead is with, you know, the Necronomicon. So I'm really hyped up for that and yeah, I'm just gonna keep my eye out. Well, of course, like I said, I'm gonna avoid the spoilers, but I'm gonna keep my eye out and I really can't wait to watch this movie. Alright, you guys take care.